One thing's clear, regardless of what people think about former President Donald Trump, they say his visit to Montana is going to bring a lot of attention. Trump held his first rally in Montana in 2016 in Billings during the Republican primaries for president. He then traveled to the state four times in 2018 during Montana's U.S. Senate campaign, holding rallies in Great Falls, Billings, Missoula, and Bozeman. Paul Bellamy wasn't able to attend then, but knows people who did. Drew a lot of people, and uh, they were pretty uh, upfront about it. Yeah. They thought it was a pretty good thing. He says he likes Trump's business experience and hopes he'll have a localized message at the event. I don't think he needs to boast on his record as much as he does. I want to hear more about what he's going to do for Montana. And uh, I believe that uh, a rural state like we have, we get forgotten about a lot, especially back east. The Trump campaign made tickets for the rally available Thursday. Joan Hobine says she would love to attend, but she's dealing with family health problems at the moment. She says she wants to hear him talk about issues like border security and what she calls ridiculous policies. We should be able to say what, in this country, what we believe without being put down or called racist or anything else. And that's one of the things I want him to talk about. She believes his visit will be a good thing for Montana. People need to speak out and they need to vote. Uh, we, whether they're Democrat or Republican, we need votes. Of course, many Montanans aren't as supportive of Trump's visit. I talked to several of them who didn't want to go on camera for this story, but had concerns about things like the tone of the campaign. In Helena, Jonathan Amberian, MTN News.